But let's jump in. Let's get straight into Magic Tales. Um, so this one's called Liam Finds a Story. Apparently it's an Irish folk tale. We should have Matey here for this, but um, yeah, he's probably asleep. But here we go. So I actually did some research on Mag Magic Tales. Um, the company behind it's called Animation Magic. Um, if that well, name hello. sounds familiar, it's, so it's because... Nice um, they're actually the guys behind the really shitty cutscenes from uh, the Zelda CDI games and like King's Quest 7 and stuff like that. Um, which surprised me because I actually, yeah, I don't mind the animation in these ones. They must have... Yeah, the, this would have been after King's Quest 7, so they've obviously improved since then. Alright. No, we're not going to do the dance. As much as I enjoy the grammar. Actually, no, is this slightly different to the other one? Yeah, we we'll, might stick with this one for now. Yeah, he looks a bit sexier in that apron, so we'll stick around and... Can I send him biddies? I don't know how to send him biddies. <laughs> Get on to Grandpa Mouse's OnlyFans. Yeah, like that animation, I, I think... Probably what it was for, like, the Zelda CDI games and that was they just probably got a fair bit of money for it and just had they had really high expectations for it and they they would have had to do you know like probably 10 15 minutes worth of cutscenes for the um zelda cdi games and like animation takes a while it really does all right no enough dancing there now, little why are the pigeons making weird fart noises It's like those little farts you do when you, like, need to go. And you're sort of just trying to keep it in. It's a little weird. How about a story while you children finish your ice creams? No, I still love this too. Like, I keep saying it. It takes us like 45 minutes to read through these stories. comes from Ireland. And they're just like, yeah, we'll, we'll have it done by the time you finish your ice cream. Sure. Goes on a journey. Searching for a very special story. Him, <laughs> Liam finds a story. Hmm. Okay. And I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna Liam get some rampant Irish fun. racism for this one. one Actually, day, maybe not. They did dial it back for the um the, for Baba Yaga last week. She refused to go until she was told a story that she had never heard before. Mmm, that smells wonderful, me love. Not a bite until dinner time, Thomas. There. Pies and chickens and sheep, I see. This surely is the place for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just notice. The, I love drawing the buttholes on these chickens too. Shoo, go away. <laughs> There's just one way to make me go. Tell me a tale that I don't know. Oh, this should be fun. Um. Well then, do you know the story of the owl and the fox? I heard that tale when I was small. Why not give up? I know them all. Oh no, it's the terrible, you know, the, the ones... That, like have to rhyme when they talk. Bah, I'm adding for greener pastures. Oh, that's that's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> I'm back. It sucks. <laughs> oh, it's you gotta love sentient wood. Just builds your own little. Dog house for you. Oh no, never mind. Go straight back in the bar. Do you know the story of the giant and the magic harp? Whew, that tale is older than the moon. Yeah, we've covered You'd that one. We we soon. covered the sequel to that one, the unofficial sequel. <laughs> <What>? I wasn't so busy, I'd get rid of you myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a oh Irish song already. All right. Oh no, just a little dance. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I always forget you get stuff on there. Hang on. Um, have a look at these, please. <laughs> Do you know the story of the shoemaker and the elf? Hee hee ho ho. That story I know. Hmm, fair enough. Alright, uh, I think that's all we clicked on for here. I'll tell you the story of the man and the talking donkey. <laughs> so that ancient friends. tale I know too well. If that is all, then here I'll dwell. I don't know any other stories. Neither do I. Then Greytail and I will go and find one. Don't worry, we'll be back before you know it. And so... Leon oh, the squirrels like the companion story. thing. Yeah, I did watch that. I found the, Before um, long, they apparently did a live-action movie a of, um, Spiro and Fantasio a couple of years back. Um, couldn't get into it. It was a little the weird. Which knew them all. And yeah, the, the squirrel mind. that they had yeah, was like a live-action squirrel. You too, lad. What brings you here on this fine day? I'm looking for a good story. A story, is it? Well, you've come to the right place. I've many tales to tell. You do? Oh, hi, laddie. Oh, I'll tell you the tale of a purple whale whose mouth was as big as the sun. You'll have to do better than that, old man, since I already know that one. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, we gotta click on stuff now. Yeah, um... No, I should point out, yeah, um, life's been a little bit eventful for me as of late. Um, I had my first COVID jab uh, Friday, and I've, I've been sweating pretty much all weekend. Probably the, the night I had it was the worst, because I went to bed with no clothes on and just woke up with the chills, and just basically, yeah, and I had lots of water, as maybe said, have water because it helps and yeah woke up at 3 a.m at 3 a.m with the um with the chills busting for a piss so I'm, I'm surprised i got it all in the bowl actually just i was i was a cold boy but yeah now i just got like a little fever not too bad should be right for work tomorrow these squirrels though and yeah my um yeah, this time last week, my great-grandmother passed away at the ripe age of 96. Um, yeah, hell of, a, hell of a good run. But, um, yeah, so I spent a few days reminiscing about her, because we always went to... Uh, she had a cattle property sort of in, like, the southern central outbacky sort of bit of, um, of Queensland. A little place called Bolland. And, um, yeah, I remember, like, all my, like, cow cocky country stuff I did growing up was basically from there. Because we used to visit a fair bit, so we'd ride around on motorbikes. There was a river there. The, the river's actually named after Steve Irwin. I can't remember what it was named after originally. But you'd be able to, like, float in an inner tube. There'd be koalas up in the trees sometimes. Um... Uh, she actually was the first person to teach me how to drive, like a actual manual car, at about ten. <laughs> and I I couldn't wrap my head around it for years because um, I had like really bad anxiety as a kid, and um, I'd always take the clutch pedal off too quick and stall it or bunny hop, and yeah, no, I'd actually get like formal training to um, learn how to drive properly. How about the story of a sailor named Cory who sailed for a year and a day. You'd better think again, my storytelling friend, if you want me to go away. It's like, okay, I'll th think of another one. This old man's tales are nothing new. Is this the best that you can do? She's gonna, uh, she's gonna rhyme for the whole thing, isn't she? It's a, look at the size of these ladybugs, though. Wow. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's cute. What are you looking at, Liam? <laughs> Don't look at me, mate.
Oh yeah, those little, little flutes they play. Very cool. Have you got an instrument? No, you're just getting it rained on. Oh, I'm gonna wash at least. Fair enough. I wish I could have, apparently these guys like chew, like will eat aphids. I'm kind of wishing I had some with me to um, take care of my problem the other day. But I have started a new garden at the new place. Um, got some stuff seeding. I'm trying corn this year. I don't know how it's going to go because I'm doing it in pots. But um, yeah, interested to see how it comes out because I do like corn. Oh yeah, I remember the um I gave it me. There's that old duck in Phantasmagoria that had like the gnome hat. It's a weird fucking setup. The hungry fairy witch forced Liam's mother and father to make her more pies. How is she forcing them though? Is she gonna curse them or is he just genuinely annoying? Hmm. Alright, um... Oh, is that, is that meant to be molasses? Yeah, make sure that that's a bitch to clean up. I know that all too well. Uh, the pot and some pans. Oh, we're getting a little... Get there a little... once was a mouse on the coast. Whose nose was as long as a post. Oh, you gotta... <laughs> Irish, so yeah, you gotta have a limerick. The then he flew through the air like a ghost. Huh. Okay. Yeah, eccentric performance. And that's... Just dried herbs. Okay. Fair enough. And she's like, yeah, I'll fucking... Oh! Not using it to fly. She's just gonna eat all the potatoes. Okay. Oh, what? The hell are you, buddy? Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Got the doo doo doo. <laughs> All right, not what I was expecting, but anyway. I do hope Liam finds a story and comes home soon. We'd better start making pies for her, my dear. She looks hungry. <laughs> what? Yeah, all right. Fair enough. You were seriously just going to eat all that flour? Nothing to wash it down with? That's, that's a little gross. Okay. Um, now that's it for hot spots, I think. Liam could walk a long way. My my fix to that would be to grab that frying pan and go. Have you heard the story about the witch who gets her face belted in with the frying pan? But Liam saved him. A leprechaun. Help! Swimmers, not me cup of tea. Oh help! Are you all right? Oh, I am. Thanks to you, lad. Seamus Leprechaun, at your service. My name's Liam, and this is Greytail. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, lads. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah right. Really. Um, what else we got to click on? Oh, cattails. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Okay. Help! Help! A bee! A bee! <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. 
There's a musical page, this one. Hmm. Yeah, right. Nothing in the mushrooms, no. I fell into the water. Funny music, just playing like songs stone. though. But you were there to lend a hand, oh, I was not alone. You pulled me from the water as quick as quick could be. I sure it was the likes of you that saved the likes of me. <laughs> yeah, where to play the stereotypes, Leprechaun. <laughs> So I tell you, Liam, that I'm in debt to thee. This year it was the likes of you. I'm trying to remember if I've actually seen... Oh, sure There's a horror series the called Leprechaun. It's like Warwick Davies is a um, evil leprechaun. And they... They get... They run out of ideas, and by the fourth one, he's like... On the streets of LA, like, smoking weed with gangsters and stuff like that. It was a weird series. Why don't leprechauns swim? It's the shoes, me lad. We hate to get them wet. Oh, hide all me gold in there. Um, no, that was it for this page. Okay. Team bits and pieces of the first one? Okay. Yeah, um, I know Matey and I have been having a big run on, um, like, weird, uh, horror genre kind of movies. Um, we watched Space Truckers the other day. That was fun. Um... Good Dennis Hopper as a space trucker, I think he's you know meant to transport a no load of um, sex robots, right but they turn him. out to be sexy assassin me, biomechanical robots. Favor, and it's got Charles Dance. Um, he gets into Goodbye. an accident and he has to like rebuild his body with robot parts. And I think, yeah, a, a, one of the main characters has to seduce him to like buy time or something. Yeah, uh, it, no, it, 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 it's weirder. Um, and couldn't play the fiddle. So I'm, I'm sending yeah. screenshots yes. to Matey. Like, he's got a robot so butt. Sent him away. <laughs> it takes all the clothes <laughs> off, getting ready for some lovemaking, and it has a robot butt. But then you, he's like, I've rebuilt myself from scratch, and um, yes, yeah, so he's got a robot dick. But he actually has to start it with, like, a like a pull cord, like a lawnmower. <laughs> Yeah, so if it was actually well done. It was by um, Stuart Gordon, who no did like Reanimator no and a couple other ones. Can you play the fiddle? No. Yeah, no, he's actually done a, a heap of um, like HP Lovecraft stories. He's done like Dagon, Dreams in the yes. Witch House. Don't bother us, um, lad. Go away. What was the other good one he did? Yeah, no, he's got he's got a few. He's got a few in there. What's in? Yeah, yeah, get that tap in, buddy. Don't waste that good booze. Oh my god, what is up with these beer barrels? Oh, good. oh they're not letting him in at the inn because he's got hasn't got a skill. Alright. Oh, that was <laughs> unexpected. Okay. Beneath the hill near Dublin town, the fairy folk I've seen. They play the fiddles and the other, the probably the weirdest one we watched out of him was um, Circuitry Man 2, Plughead Revisited. Um, it's like the cyberpunk one with the bad guy from um, uh, Commando, the guy that gets the steam pipe through the vet, through the chest, um, as like a villain that can like steal people's emotions by plugging them into his brain. Just weird movie. Like, yeah, like the first movie was weird and the second one was just even weirder. Oh, thank you, Sentient Knife. Okay. Where you go? Hey! Oh, yeah, and it had um, SpongeBob in it, uh, Tom County. Excuse me. It's like a weird guru that can, stories? like, teleport people. No! Now let me be! Yeah. Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> Done so many voices of my childhood. Yeah, I did see he did some voice acting. He's in like the um, Darksiders games as well, I think. But just, oh, just, I love his acting style because, yeah, Vernon oh, Wells just radiates slime. He's a slimy boy. 
I told you not and to yeah, like us. you'll oh. never top his death in Commando either. He's in Adventure Time and Powerpuff Girls. Nice, very cool. Oh, sorry, yeah, Tom Kenny. Yes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Tom Puff Kenny's Puff done a fair bit. I'd never seen him in like live like action stuff before. I know he's um he's in Tim and Eric a little bit as well. But yeah, a lot of lot of good voices though. Rest beneath my branches now, lay in slumber deep. Listen to my lullaby. I'll sing you both. To That's sleep. not the voice I was expecting that tree to make. It was a little weird. Are we getting any more songs? To the land of pleasant dreams. That is where you'll go. Yeah, like you don't expect a tree to have a good singing voice considering like their vocal cords would be made of wood. Oh, maybe it's like a saxophone, like like um like a bamboo reed. Cuz bamboo is kind of flexible. If you cut it thin enough. Yep, my nuts. <laughs> Ow! Ah! <laughs> Minutes. Yeah. All right. Hey, because that's basically where uh, fairies come from, isn't it? It's mainly from Celtic folklore. Why is this rabbit so just random rabbit just hanging out with them? Okay. Oh. So I guess, yeah, we gotta turn the page for him to get in the door. Suddenly, a door opened in the hill. Oh, that's kind of cool. They, like, did half the story. He and Great Tail slipped through and vanished. Huh. Okay. Hey, is that a door? What's that? Hey, hey, are you going to get in, Liam? Oh, you just shrank. Okay. <laughs> Liam couldn't believe his eyes. He was in the fairy world. Well, if it isn't the lad who saved me life. A fine hello to you, Liam. Ah. <gasps> oh. A boy? Here in our village, it's just not right. Greetings, Liam. Welcome to my land. I am Shia, Queen of the Fairies. You shall be my guest for dinner tonight. Uh, th thank you, Your, your Majesty. I, I am kind of hungry. Oh, boy! Dinner! Yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Great Hell. You can come, too. Yeah, okay. What is that human boy doing here? We don't want humans in our village. Yeah, fair enough. A fairy village? Am I dreaming, Great Tail? <laughs> hmm. Oh my. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Hmm, all right. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Good thing he had wings, darling. Holy oh, shit. All right. Say hello to my good friend Liam, folks. Hi. Hello. Good day. Hi. Hello. Good day. Hello. Hello. Good day. What's up with this bee, though? This is a weird looking bee. Ooh. I got some blue meanie lips there for a second. <laughs> it's a little weird. It isn't every day we have a visitor from the world of humans, Liam. I'm honored to be here, Your Majesty. Hmm. Say hello to my good friend oh. Liam, folks. Oh, that's like a whole hotspot. Right. Hello. Good day. Hi. Yeah, okay. Come, Liam. Let's go to my banquet hall for the feast. 
Lead the way, your majesty. After you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, he's a respectful little... Considering he's just like a, you know, farm kid from the sticks, he's very respectful. Liam and the fairies sat down to a great feast. But the banshee didn't Oh, that's like a banshee? Him. Okay. And what yeah, they're gonna go chew home. on some Irish folklore in a there somewhere. To our guests, Liam and Greytail. Long life and good health to you both. Well, I'll second the motion. <laughs> Humans don't belong here. I'll find a way to make him leave. Oh. Okay. Some. I don't know if that's meant to be cheese or not. <laughs> All right. Need some entertainment with your dinner. Nice. <laughs> well, that's some nice looking cake though. I bet you that's red velvet too. I do like my red velvet. I was gonna grab some of those too. Um, we get Would weird Tim Tam flavors in Australia, the and there are apparently red velvet ones now. I gotta get some different varieties. That I liked. Um, no thanks. I got one called Banoffees. It was like banana and toffee. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're the lamps. Okay. Yeah, we'd... we'd... I mean, yeah. If you can get a job as a bug, why not? A fairy banquet is a treat for all who care to dine. A hundred different kinds of cakes and each one is divine. Oh, cool. Um, ah. Oh, I'd lost my cursor for a second. Be nice to our guest. Yeah. I'm getting weirded out by all these like the sentient objects. Yeah. Oh, same again. Alright. I was hoping he'd drink his wine. I, I, I could hopefully continue to make him drink the wine, Let us but go anyway. To the Fiddler's Glen. To hear some sweet fiddle music. I'd love to, your majesty. Me too, me too. Fiddle music, huh? Oh, that gives me an idea. I've got a funny feeling the Banshee is up to no good. Yeah. Thanks, Leprechaun. They all went to the Fiddler's Glen. Liam had to play the fiddle. The leprechaun's magic gave Liam's arms the power to play. We're in luck, Queen Shear. Liam is the finest fiddler in all the land. You must play for us then, Liam. But my dear mother says my fiddling sounds like a howling dog. Don't be shy, Liam. Go ahead and play. Just play a few notes, lad, and the queen will be happy. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you get off that chair. The Banshee's playing a nasty trick, but I'll give the lad a hand. Are you sure about this, Seamus? Trust me, lad. Uh -huh. Your friend will play so badly that the Queen will ask him to leave. I'm so happy to have the world's best fiddler right beside me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I've got to try my best, Greytail. Okay. Oh, what? What did that thing turn into? Huge! <laughs> Ow! Alright. Let's see how this goes down. Yeah, I was going to do that too. I actually got a, um, 
point and click I wanted to play called Paradigm. I was going to play it yesterday, but I was just too crook. We'll try for um, next weekend. Ah, smashing that. Good. Might want to go and take that to the devil, Liam. You might win a fiddle uh, of solid gold. Well done, Liam. There's a good lad. I didn't know I had it in me. Come, let us go to the dancing meadow to see a merry jig. Yeah. I like the Next, old different Liam venues for all the fun meadow. stuff they're getting up to. Liam had to dance for them. The leprechaun's magic gave Liam's feet the power And why wouldn't you dance? have the fiddling wouldn't area she, uh, with the dancing area? You like, you got to dance the music, Liam don't you? Is the finest dancer in the land. Really? Well, then you simply must dance for us, Liam. But my dear father says I dance like a lame goose. He's as graceful as a swan, my queen. Sounds like dance your parents are Liam. abusive, Liam. Oh, go on and wiggle your legs a bit, lad. That will make the queen happy. If you say so. Yeah, fair enough. All right, dragonfly. Oh, you're just gonna stay in there? Okay. Fair enough. It looks like you'll be leaving soon. <laughs> what a shame. Let's see about that. <laughs> It's not every day we have the world. That's the thing as well. Like he's probably got enough uh, to go back and tell true, the story Majesty. to the um to the witch as well, doesn't he? Doesn't really matter if he believes now or not. He was lucky with the fiddle, but this time he'll fail for sure. Oh no no no! Not to worry, Greytail. I've still got a trick or two up me sleeve. Hmm. Right. I like his boots. Some pretty good boots. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we had the bells. I was trying to click on Liam. Right. I stubbed my toe the last time I danced, Seamus. You'll do just fine, Liam. I promise. All right, let's see his sweet dance moves. There it is. Oh no, that's potentially dangerous. I remember that in the um, Quest for Glory game, the first one you could get I think you had to give an offering to like a magic circle or the fairies a magic you to like dance that to death or something. Wonderful jig, Liam. Because of, you know, you Sierra Adventure it, game. I love I killing you. I had ya. no idea I could dance like that. Well now, why don't we go to the Singing Stones to hear a beautiful song? Finally, they gathered beneath the Singing Stones. Liam had to sing a song. My queen, you'll be happy to learn there's no finer singer than young Liam. How nice. Do sing us a song, Liam. But both my dear parents agree. Yeah, if he does so, Danny singing boy, sounds I'm like an unhappy bullfrog. You know that's just not so, Liam. Sing for us. Go on and croak a few notes, lad. The queen will enjoy it just the same. Are you sure? He's done it for you twice already. Like, he, he's got your back, man. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Apparently that rock's just a sticker. Right on. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I forgot Gaelic had these runes in it somewhere. 
A what? What the hell happened there? Oh, the, the light bulb burnt out. Okay. Change that fuse over. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? What the hell were you trying to do, Gray, Gray Tail? He's very talented for a human. Hmm. I can't think of any songs to sing, Seamus. Don't worry, lad. I'm sure one will come yeah, to Yeah, just mind. do, um, Tub Thumping by it's Chumbawamba. To have the world's best singer Don't need a singing right voice for that. I, I guess it is, Your Majesty. Yeah, all right, let's see his singing the talents. The Leprechaun's magic gave Liam the power to sing. When he was done, he thanked them. Yeah, and that was the whole thing, Banshee. Like, he would have left eventually. He didn't have to, like, <laughs> fuck up his plans. I found the magic flute one day I saw it just by chance And oh, when I sat down to play The stones began to dance Oh, when he sat down to play The stones began to dance I played a lovely little tune It sounded rather sweet And when they heard my melody The stones all tapped their feet And when they heard his melody The stones all tapped their feet But soon my song was over and the flute just flew away. The stones went back to being stones and I went on my way. The stones went back to being stones and he went on his way. Oh, he went on his way. Yeah, all right, that's adequate. Thank you for a wonderful time, Liam. You are welcome in our village whenever you care to visit. I was wrong about you, Liam. You're not so bad after all. Nor are you, Grey Tail. You're not so bad yourself. Goodbye, oh. everyone. <laughs> She's just like, okay, Goodbye, you're leaving. That's exactly what it's I wanted. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks, Seamus. I hope we meet again sometime. Until we do, I'll try to keep me shoes out of the water. <laughs> when Liam arrived home, the fairy witch had eaten almost everything. He told the story of his adventures. Liam, thank goodness you're here. <laughs> Did you find a story? It's good to see Dad helping out with the uh, the pie well, baking. Well, well, the boys returned. I don't know what's but up I with the, the like the jacket learned. tied around the I waist. It. It gives him Let a very me tell you the grunge story look. Of my adventures in the fairy world. It all started when I saved a leprechaun from drowning. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> All right. There's nothing left to eat after she finishes these pies. <laughs> ah! All right, man from Twitch. Damn it. Just <laughs> naked babies do it to me every time. Huh. Yeah, why don't we do the thing like from um, Barbie Yaga? Just chuck her in the ju chuck the witch in the oven. That's the easiest way to get rid of witches, Liam. isn't it? We're all out of apples. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay, that's the one line she said. Where it didn't rhyme. Okay. When you come to Ireland, you've got to try the pies. They make them round, they make them square in every shape and size. There's lemon meringue and apple, and strawberry rhubarb too. I don't really try think Ireland was known for pies. pies. It seemed to... You seem to hear more about stews, if anything. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Should we click on William? We stepped through the door in the hill and found ourselves in the fairy world. Oh, he's got more to say. He's just doing the same then animation each time. We stepped time. through the oh, door no. in the hill and found ourselves in the fairy world. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh no. Well, there's one now. Stuff to click on. Um. Just the door now. No. Can't do anything with the door. All right. <laughs> just like this, they're just sitting around awkwardly. Waiting for him to tell the story. Right. I will not 
can't wait! It's time I ate! Finally, just spit I sing a wonderful song at the Singing Stones. And that's the story of my adventures in the fairy world. That story is one I do not know. You've beaten me and I must go. A taller tale you've never told. Now you deserve a sack It seems like an effort gold. to get rid of a witch. Like... Yeah, just look at, like... You know, the Inquisition and... I had plenty of ideas, plenty of ways to get rid of a witch. Thank you for the apple pies. The fairy witch flew off, leaving behind a sack of gold. And Liam and his family lived happily ever after. <laughs> what happened to your eyes, Liam? <laughs> Liam certainly had a good story to tell. Hey, children? Liam got the sack of gold sure and then did, suddenly Grandpa. developed the glaucoma. Are leprechauns <laughs> for real, Grandpa? Well, Susie, most people don't think so. But I know they're here. You just have to know where to look for them. <laughs> You're full of crap, Grandpa. If you'd like me to read the story to you. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for, um, story, William but... Finds a Story. Are you quite sure you want to quit? Yeah, no, we had fun. Thanks, Grandpa Mouse. Well, I do hope you'll visit again very soon. And we will. Um, yeah, Bye. so we got one... Magic Tales left after this, uh, I think it was Emo and the King or something like that. Some African folktale. And we're gonna do that too, we'll save it for the last one, but we'll, um, I'll give that number a ring. And see if we get anything, see if we get a response. And, yeah, nothing... Well, obviously, same devs this time around, isn't it? And that's what I love, too. Like, <laughs> the amount of animators they've got. Like, this, Yeah, like, look at that. Like, 20, 30 people, and they still fucked up the Zelda CDI games. Yep, never heard of any of those voice, voices. Oh, and they got an actual Irish guy for the music, though. That's good. Hmm. Yep, yep. Got to have your Q QA guys. Got to have your testers. There's a lot of painters as well. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals. <laughs>